Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to um, talk about the basics of log source management. Uh, we did touch on this subject in previous sections, but in this video, we can give it a, a bit more dedicated amount of time uh, for this subject. So we can go ahead to the admin tab and we can open the log sources button right here. And in here, we can see a list of all of our log sources, right? And we can turn them off, we can turn them on. We can change uh, which columns we see, we can search, uh, we can filter based on status, based on enabled or disabled, based on the log source type, uh, protocol type, target event collector, Qual whether it's coalescing events or not, whether it was auto-discovered or not. So there's a lot of great filters. And you can also um, edit multiple log sources of the same, uh, hopefully the same type. Uh, they don't have to be the same type, but for example, if I select three of those and I can either delete them I can download download uh, this information that I see into a CSV file. So I'll have a CSV file with the ID, the name, the log source type, the creation date, uh, last event, and whether it's enabled or not. I'll have those uh, columns in a, in a CSV file. I can view all of the events that are coming from either one of those log sources and then I can edit them. So as you can see, a new window opened and it tells us that we have selected multiple log sources and the number is three, and we can change the name template, right? Uh, it's a template for setting the name of the selected log sources. And we can change it with uh, using uh, dollar sign uh, variables. We can use a description template We can set all of them to either enabled or disabled. We can add all of them to groups. We can remove them from groups. We can change the language. We can change target event collector, uh, whether it's coalescing events, and so on and so on. So we can do that. And there's going to be some cases where you cannot have a log source directly send events into QRDAR without creating a log source before it, right? So for each uh, supported log source type, IBM, IBM has a documentation on how to send logs from it to QRDAR, right? And PFSense is quite simple. You just have to uh, configure it from PFSense side, but some log sources require more work, and you'd have to create the log source itself uh, in Curator before you can send logs to it. So basically, IBM would give you the instruction on on what to do on the website, but it's going to involve creating a new log source, and you can also create a quick log source. But if we select the default option, uh, we can either add a single one or multiple ones. And if I select a single one, I have to choose which type it's going to be. And all of those are supported log sources from IBM. And they have a, uh, a, a guide on IBM's documentation on how to add them. So I can choose FireEye, for example. And I'm going to leave it on syslog. And then I configure the name, the description, whether it's enabled, uh, and, and all of the other uh, parameters here. And you, you, you basically just have to follow the instructions from IBM, uh, depending on the um, type of the log source. And after you create it, you would have to deploy changes, right? 
for every new log source, you have to deploy changes. So uh, make sure to do that uh, after you create uh, new ones. And pretty much uh, this, is, <clears throat> this is it for this video. Uh, it's not too much to expand in the scope based on the scope of our course. Um, it's 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 really depend dependent on a use case basis. So each different log source type is going to get its own instructions. So you would just have to go to IBM's website and follow what they tell you to do. But as we've seen for in our example, uh, PFSense and Windows logs don't require any special instructions and you can just have them directly send their events to QRadar without uh, without anything too crazy. So this has been it for uh, this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.